getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. I'm up here today with my little C5B. I want to say it's been like over a year since I ran this car and I just wanted to take it out today. I actually did a video of it the other day but I really wasn't happy with it. So I'm home today so let me go ahead and get a, a, a video share with you guys what we got going on and just remind y'all about this 5B game over here. So if you haven't yet please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your main channel. Take you guys under the lid and then we'll go. So low C5B, from the outside, you guys see I'm running the RC Genesis uh, wheels. People call them all kind of names, low profiles, you know, whatever you want to call them. These are the RC Max Genesis wheels. Former Taylor RC, RC, you know, Taylor RC Genesis. So those wheels, um, custom painted body, and take you guys under the lid. Running a Max 4, guys should see. I had the the uh, hobby wing Wi-Fi adapter here, and you could the Bluetooth adapter. You can connect to your phone and get the telemetry information. Um, running uh, Castle 2028 800kV motor. I am running it sensor with this Max 4 ESC. I'm running two China Hobby Line 9500 milliamp hour 6S lipos. Um, running two Savox. Um, 0241 servos. This is an older build, but this servos have been great for me. You know, people really don't run save outs like that, but it's, they've been good to me. I haven't had one issue with them. Um, Vitavine all over the place, man. Got my Vitavine um, front and rear hubs. Uh, I have uh, Vitavine turnbuckles front and the rear, adjustable turnbuckle linkages, and Definitely need to spend some time with this car, bring it back up to snuff, tighten things up, or whatever, whatever. But we're just for our, our, our all intensive purposes. I think we're good for what we're going to do today. Um, so that's it. Talking to y'all too much. Turn this car on and let's go. Also, you guys know I always talk about my uh, MT12, my Radio Master MT12. Guess what, guys? Not running it today. Cause I'm lazy and didn't feel like setting up everything on it the uh, throttle and all that stuff so I'm back with my Futaba 10px hey I love Futaba guys that's my favorite radio but the uh, MT12 the radio master the adjustability is the bang for the buck the ease of use of it well not ease of use but um, for what you can do with it gotta go that way anyway y'all 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 know i'm talking too much let's you ripping twelve s guys super say j what's your favorite rc y'all know y'all don't know y'all better ask somebody This was my first fifth scale. Actually, technically it wasn't. I had a uh, I had a Red Cat Doom runner for like a couple weeks. Got rid of that real quick. It was all gas. I don't think I ever did a video with it. But I got this 5B dude. And um, this was it for me, man. I got this little ramp set up like I'm gonna really do something with it. I really don't want to hit the ramp on the 5B side of the game, I, but you know. Staying decent out here. All right, I, I'll give y'all a little jump. I really don't want to send it. I don't want to send it, guys, and I'm not going to. So don't get hyped. I'm going to hit the ramp. I will hit the ramp a little bit. 
but I'm not sending it. This is some good content for the for the for the crew. Y'all think I'ma wreck my 5e? I don't think so. Just wanted to get some good content for y'all. Y'all deserve it. Never land on throttle, guys. Never land on throttle. You know, what's a good thing about it being dry out today? It won't be muddied up. <laughs> That's one good thing about no, no rain, no, no, no wet grass. Don't have to deal with that. Saved it. Came off the ramp a little crooked. This thing is a beast, man. I love this car. No, it's not for sale. No way. Ask me to sell anything else but this. Nice, even flow. Say, Jay, sell, sell anything but this or my Italian. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple other cars on there that will, won't go for sale. Um, this is one of them. I'm just taking it easy, guys. Nothing wrong with the car. See, I can just rip it. Just making sure I don't make any mistakes with it. I'm getting old. So every little step counts. Oh, lost the wheel nut. Good luck finding that out here. Maybe I'll get lucky and find it. Maybe I'll get lucky and find that tire. Oh, boom, look at that. Just lost the whole hub. That means I lost the pin. A nut. All kinds of stuff. I'm about to walk all the way over there. I'm like, oh, there's a, there it is over there. But nope. Here's the wheel. And now I got to carry this bad boy back. <laughs> like, I really don't want to do that. This is the low C5B, guys. If you don't have one, you want to come up for sale try to get it if you got the money spend the money on them see them going for around 1500 bucks some brushless some gas you might be able to get a roller for 11 or 1200 depending on what's on it Shit, you might get a really nice roller for 1500 um, but i've been seeing these come up on facebook marketplace if you can get one definitely recommend getting it you can't be cheap because these cars are discontinued these things are, are legendary. Don't fuck around, guys. If you got an opportunity, if you've ever wanted one of these cars and you're seeing it up for sale, go ahead and get them. You won't lose your money because, again, these are legendary. People want these cars. No, you can't buy a new one. You can still buy parts for them. Uh, a lot of the 5T parts are interchangeable with these and people still make some aftermarket parts. Really though, when we talk about collector stuff, people really want to keep the stock stuff. The stock stuff has value in it too. Some of the stock stuff costs more to uh, have than the aftermarket stuff. Specifically like the electric conversion kit. If you have a TLR conversion kit, a brushless conversion kit in the box, easily 300 bucks for somebody who's looking for a collector, for aficionado, you know? You go high end, Vitavon, Vitavon you gonna spend more than that, but that's cause Vitavon shit is top notch. Uh, but yeah, talking too much guys. Uh, like I said, if you ever, if you get an opportunity to buy one of these, buy it. If you have one, keep it. You will not, these will never come back out again. You could buy the bootleg Rovan one if you want to, 
In some cases, I don't have nothing against it. If you really want one, get the roll band one. But it's nothing like having the, you know, authentic ride. But anyway, your man's talking way, way too much, guys. Y'all seen the wheel hex come off. Otherwise, no breakages. Then you can take a jump. It is what it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to say thank y'all so much for y'all time and y'all attention. Shout out to my homie, rest and rest in peace. To my boy, Dave Hubbard. Uh, shout out to Big Willie. Shout out to Ted. Shout out to Adam from RC Discount. Shout out to uh, Hector from RC Discount. Shout out to everybody support your man's channel, man. Uh, thank you so much again for y'all time and y'all attention. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro. Stop recording.